Hey guys, I hope you're all having a wonderful week. Um, I just got my bus stop system that's behind me right there, um, all fixed up. It's still got a couple of minor leaks, but um, I think it can finally be put up and into action. I'll show you guys that in just a second. In fact, I'll show it to you guys right off. Uh, so I've got a minor leak at um, this fitting and one at this one. One, I believe it's this one is the one that's dripping down onto my union. I've got a minor leak at this fitting as well you can see that little itty bitty um, puddle of water down there now these things probably just happened because uh, when I put in this pipe if you can make out it's just a little angled up um, because yeah I, I forgot to put in the union again so be sure that when you make um, any sort of fitting put in the union before you glue tees or elbows onto it I mean I did that wrong twice which is why I've got these leaks and this um, pipe is just a little angled up it's overflowing because I overfilled it a little bit um, but yeah, that's how it works. The water comes out there, it's just trickling. Got my um, grow bed dug up around here. Now that's below the water. You can just make out the grating. I'll remove that. I cut the piece out of it so it can have some clear space to go. This is the media guard that will get filled in. Um, well, fill it, the media will get filled around it so that uh, you know the overflow doesn't have um, any clogging issues. Now I've decided that right here in this corner, the back corner, is where I'm going to put this basil tree which you can make out right there if you take this lemongrass away. Now I've dug up here you can have a look at what the roots of it look like though I'm in the middle of a flood cycle all you can make out down there is roots uh, I'll show you guys that in just a bit I'm going to pull that this plant out and have a look at uh, yeah I have a look at what comes out of it now I've found a camera angle here that would show you guys it's not the best camera angle in the world okay here we go there okay I'm gonna pull it out and uh, hope that all goes according to plan okay so it's a real mess Right now my hands are also a mess, well, it's a really big plant, look at that, its roots are all clogged up with, I don't know if there are any worms in here or not, I can't make any out at first glance, but there's a whole lot of rocks um, yep, inside those roots that I'm going to have to get out, it's a heavy plant, I think almost a kilo in that, it's a big one, yeah, look at that. Grow bed looks strangely empty but only on the back end. This is what I had planned on that the lemongrass would still cover and give me a good bit of shade. Here is the hole in the grow bed which is just about to start flushing and you can make out, uh, can you make out? Okay, I'll just show you guys what the, I hope there's no damage done to these plants. So now finally the system can actually be said to be alive and running. I uh, put the basil plant in over here. It's uh, fitted its roots down, gave it a little bit of space, wet it down while wetting um, all of the other plants right now. Hold on, I had the hose running. Okay, so yeah, it's got, um, it's a little wet so that uh, hopefully it can make it through this transplanting. I have this old grid that I had in my initial system, only uh, three ball valves only, that one's open so the water goes in the far end. Everything's nice and filled up now, comes out through this external SLO comes to here, exits, I have this very temporary makeshift pipe run up here that's just uh, unglued and going into the fitting. The fish, greedy little buggers, I'm going to feed them a little bit more. So now, finally I can say that I have brought to life the fourth system in the country. Woohoo!